Greetings, folks. Here in the 66, just going for a quick trip, get my meds at Choppers, and uh, possibly over to the parts store. Uh, oddly, the gauges have come back, uh, temperature and uh, the gas fuel, fuel gauge, they kind of come and go. I think the voltage regulator in behind there is a little whack, or there's a bad connection or something. But he came and got the truck finally, which sucks for me because I, that was going to be one of my videos. I wanted to take a time lapse of it going on the truck. So yeah, they just showed up out of the blue on a Thursday. And anyway, I guess that's fine. I, I didn't mind. I, I still like looking at it. But got another parking spot now though. Parking spots are good and hard to find. Now this poor beast here, if you remember, has got the uh, serious blow-by going, but it uh, doesn't seem to affect the drivability. The uh, rear driver's side tire uh, gets soft over the course of a week, so I've been having to pump that up all the time. Christ, White City. Not out on a run. Beautiful day out here today. Hot, which I like. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, well, that, I shouldn't say that. I did make some videos, but uh, they weren't very interesting, so I didn't put them up. I did go get a sawzall and cut off that uh, lower shock stud on the 74. But of course, I couldn't quite get the tool in there enough to cut it right flush with the plate. So I've still got some more grinding or something to do to get that off. And or drill that hole right out again. So Tyler's Neighborhood Garage uh, mentioned that they make bolt-in ones rather than press-in. So that's you know, once I get a hole there again, I'm going to buy one of those. They have a nut on the back rather than having to press fit. Right? So that'll certainly solve that problem a little bit. really want to get the 74 off the fucking jack stands and at least back into a mode that it can be moved. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the 74. I mean, of course it was going to be a backup to this car, but because uh, it got so expensive for me to drive this into work every day, uh, mostly with the parking situation, not so much the gas or whatever, but uh, although gas is just super expensive here right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. The 74 might go at some point. We'll see. It's not worth a whole lot, so it's not like... It won't be any financial windfall, that's for fucking sure, but... I technically don't need a backup car 100% of the time in order... You know, if this thing was not working... So what? You know? Of course... I, never, I don't like to get rid of my trade, so I prefer to acquire cars than sell them. But I have, you know, in the last two years I've sold the uh, 64 Chrysler and the truck, so it's not unheard of. That 64 Chrysler was up for sale not too long ago on Usevic. But he wanted 3500 bucks for it. I think I sold it to him for 800 <laughs> You know, which was a pretty good deal for him, but uh, ain't nobody gonna pay 3500 bucks for that car. If they do, they're an idiot. Just, you know, it's cool and all. 
but it's in a lot worse shape than when I sold it to him. Probably if he only uh, was asking a thousand bucks for that or something, I probably would have snapped it back. <laughs> Don't tell Kara. Yeah, that, that thing was a boat, you know, it's cool, but too much car, too little time. So I'm just going over shoppers here, I'll get my meds. Stop by the weed store too while I'm out. Oiled up the brake pedal a bit so it's no squeaky. time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I saw a nice one at a car show last year. Is that like this one here? 66 oh, this one, yeah. What year is this one? 66. Oh, I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was 64, yeah. Yeah, if it was 64, it would have had the, still the push button. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's a daily driver, this one. It goes into town every day in, the, in the Victoria, so. A real survivor. Yeah. There's a lot of these around here. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's good. I love it. Yeah. Kara gets accosted uh, out in this car more than I do. She has to add about 15 minutes to any trip that <laughs> involves this car. Oh fuck, yeah, I was gonna go to the meat store. Uh. We'll get over there, boys. That is a thing of fucking beauty right there. Saw that yesterday, actually, at Fairlane. I'm gonna say 69. 68, maybe. It's goddamn beautiful, though. Even with one piston down, or uh, half, half volume, um, doesn't affect at all. I'm always impressed at how smooth this car goes. It doesn't go very fast. You know, it's... I would never do more than 70 miles an hour in this car. It just doesn't feel good. But it's just, it's a nice cruiser. There is something to be said about... Uh, you know that the torsion bar suspension for me it's it's a work of magic traffic jam at the beer store yo oh, I forgot to put one in the window camera I mean Still haven't quite got uh, the habit down of uh, two GoPros. It's double the work, but a little more interesting than just looking at me all the fucking time. As handsome as I am, I know uh, it still has to get tiring eventually. How Kara does it, I'm not sure, but. my typical uh, drag strip, uh, you know, that's where we blow up the cars there. It's a school zone, fully not a good idea. 
Although I'm, never, I'm only ever doing it on the weekend, but yeah, not the perfect drag strip there. But it's about as straight as they get around here. Maybe the rotos are out. Beautiful. They don't last long. I thought, well, maybe two weeks. They're dropping pedals already. So.